Hi everyone, this is Mr. West. Today we're doing percentage increase and decrease, a worksheet by Math Drills. Great website. Check it out. There's a link in the description below. But anyway, this is a concept that you'll see throughout high school. It's introduced in middle school. But let's dive right in and see if we can make it a little bit more simple for you. So here we're given an original amount, and I would like to think of all of these in terms of dollars. Okay, I think it's usually easier to understand things when it's in dollar amounts. My students seem to think so. So the original amount is $600, and then our new amount, new amount is reduced to 498. And I already kind of gave away if there's an increase or decrease. But what we're going to do is we're going to find what is the percentage change? How much percent does this change by? We're not just doing 600 minus something. We're saying, okay, how much of a percentage decrease is this new amount? This is, happens a lot with the stock market, things like that. But anyway, the first step we need to do is we need to find out what the change is. Okay, so it's not strictly talking about subtraction, but we do need to know subtraction in order to solve this. So the, we need to find the change. The change is simply the original amount. Okay, I'm going to have kind of the formula right here. Original amount minus the new amount. If we're looking for the change, we always start from where it starts from. Okay, the original amount is where it starts, and then there's a change, and then we have something new. So we always have to begin with the original Okay, so we're going to take our original amount and then we're going to subtract our new amount. Now, after we're done with that, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. You'll, you will need a calculator for this. So we do 600 minus 498. I mean, that step doesn't require a calculator per se, but for the percentage part, you're definitely going to need one. So I did 600 minus 498. Let me zoom in on this a second. And that equals 102. Okay, that's a nine. Now what we're going to do is, now that we have the change, that's not the percentage. How do you find a percentage? Well, you always have to have a part divided by a whole. That will give you a percentage. Now, what whole are we talking about? Well, the part is this. That's the change. Okay, so the change we're talking about is 102. That's our change. And the whole is going to be the original amount. That's where we're starting from. We want to know how much of a percentage change it is from the original amount. So what we need to do is part change, okay, the change divided by the whole, and that's the original amount. So we're going to divide this number by 600. Okay, so the original minus the new amount, that will give us the change. And to find the percentage, I have a couple things going on here. To find the percentage, we do the change divided by the original amount. Okay. So this is the original, here's the change, and this will give you, well, it's not going to give you the percentage, it's going to give you the decimal, okay? So technically we'd need to multiply by 100, and that would give us the percentage, okay? And that's basically our formula. So we're going to do 102 divided by 600, and we get 0.17, okay? So 0.17. Now, with this, you're either going to get negatives or positives, depending on if your original is bigger or smaller than the new. So you're always going to want to make it positive, okay? So we have our decimal here when we do this is going to give us 0.17. I'm going to move this so you guys can see it in a different spot, okay? And the original minus new amount equals the change. I'm going to move that up here also, okay? So the new, whoop, new amount was not included there, okay? So we get 0. 0.17 for our answer, 0 0.17. Now, we have to multiply that by 100 to convert it into decimal form, and that's going to be clearly 17%. So this is a 17% change. The question is, is it an increase or decrease? This is actually the easiest part of this problem. We just have to see, does it go up or down? So clearly, it goes from original amount, high amount, 600, to a smaller amount. So this is definitely a decrease. Let's do one more. Um, let's do a decrease. So let's this. Let's go to this one down here, 670. Okay. So let's say we had 670 dollars, uh, or we could say even the price of something was 670 dollars, and then the new price, like on Black Friday or something, was 603. What was the percentage increase or decrease? That's a way to kind of frame this problem. That's always important, in my opinion. So our change first is we're going to take the difference of these. So 670, I've been saying the original minus the new. 
Just make it positive if you get a negative. In this case, we're gonna get 67. So 67 is our change. Remember, we're gonna do our change divided by our original times 100 to find our percentage. So the change we can already substitute in. We know it's, what did I say, 67. The original, okay, that's where we always have to start from. We always have to compare it to the original amount is 670. So I'm gonna write 670 there. And this will tell us how we do, don't forget to multiply by 100, I'm consistently forgetting to write that. So I do 67 divided by, oh, this one's easy, because we have, it's gonna be one over 10. So we have one over 10, because I can cancel, 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 and I'm gonna have that essentially 10 left in the bottom. And I can multiply that by 100. Well, I already know that 0 0.1 times 100, that's gonna give me 10%. Okay, so I have a 10% change and that's a decrease, okay? So that's kind of a quick way to do that problem. Well, anyway, that's all there is to this tutorial. All the other problems are just like it. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Again, I found this on Math Drills. I'll happily help you with other topics too. Just leave a comment on any one of my YouTube videos, and I'll happily help you with that. I look forward to seeing you right here next time on West Explains Best.